Hi guys, back with another video. Um, still on the Nikon 18 to 55 lens, but the issue is the um, connector on the lens. Um, so I managed to drop it again. This time <laughs> it was at a wedding, and uh, yeah. So you'll see when I try and connect. So that's meant to be fully connected right now. Um, but if I just jiggle it around or slightly move it to one side, it'll just pop off. This is the bit. Uh, connectors basically knackered. There's a plastic piece. You can actually see a gap there where it shouldn't be. I can kind of open it a little bit, it's a bit weird. Yeah, it's kind of flapping around. Um, and then when I opened it up, thankfully the lens didn't get broken. Uh, but you can see that part there, it's sheared off. That one's still intact, which is interesting. And then this one completely broke off. There's a big gap in it as well. So it's pretty amazing actually that only that piece broke. So um yeah. Here we go. So here's a brand new one. And you've got the three um you've got one there, one there, and then the third one there. So yeah, got the three clips on this brand new one. Got this really cheap uh, from eBay. Um, I think it's less than a pound. Really good. Um, and the quality seems all right as well. Um, I can drop a link in the description as well where I got it from. Um, but that's going to replace that ring there. So we'll start with. So we've got the. Uh, small screwdriver um, and I'm just using my um, dish in this um, the uh, hand tool kit that I've got here as a, as a holder for all the screws what you'll notice when you're unscrewing this didn't really show this in the last video is if you've got a keen eye um, so you've got you got your two screws here and then three which holds this retainer clip um, and then two for this connector um, the two on this connector piece um, are slightly different in the way that the screws look um, so I'll take first of all get rid of the three screws which hold the retainer clip Put those in there. And then so we've got the we've got the retainer clip and then we can take that off. Just like that. So then these two here are just remaining for the connector piece. So what you'll notice is comparing the two screws, you've got one with a bit more, it's a course of thread. If you've got a keen eye, you'll notice. So there's a course of thread on the retaining clip piece, um, but on the connector piece, you have more of a fine thread. Um, and it's it's got more of a flat head on the screw as well, so that's just something I didn't pick up on the last um, video, just so you know the difference. And yeah, there's only two of the the fine uh, thread screws, um, so they're just for the connector piece. Once we've got that unscrewed, we can now. 
one screw, these three, which hold the, uh, the ring piece. Um, these are the longer screws, obviously. Longer and wider screws. So once we've got that done, we uh, just need to move this connector piece a bit further in so it's out of the way when we take this out. And then we also want to watch out that we don't break the connection on this cable, this white cable here. And um, managed to solder it since last time. So these metal pieces like spacers, they're gonna stay there. Um, what we're gonna do on this piece is we're gonna unscrew, we're gonna start to dismantle this this piece here. Um, inside there there's like a sort of a ring, like an inner ring to it, which has this mechanism going on. Oh, it's come off already. Um, yeah, you basically just Slide it. There's a little gap. A little gap there, and that slides into the slot, so it can drop out. So yeah, the spring is attached there, and a the little hook on the plastic piece. We're just gonna pop it off. That's done now for that. Um. We also want to take off this connection and it's just a matter of taking this screw off here. It's just one screw. So unscrew that. Just keep that to uh, one side. Because that screw is slightly smaller than the others in its length. So that's the the broken piece, we're going to put that to one side. And we're going to screw this back on. This um, It's like a springy piece with a metal bar on it. Um, what I've done is I've, um, I've soldered it to it because last time um, it just sprung off so I've just made sure it's, it's definitely still it's not going to come off anymore um, but yeah it may try and come off for you I don't know so yeah just keep bear that in mind so there's, there's a hole in the middle which is for the spring and the pin and then on the side is just a little slot and then there's a hole for the screw. So we just push fit that and then uh, get the screw ready. My magnetized screwdriver. It's a little bit fiddly. Just gonna screw that in. So because it's it's a brand new piece, um, these screws are self-tapping, so you have to kind of drive it in a bit more because it's a fresh piece of plastic. You gotta push it in as you drive, and then it'll bite into it and start making a thread. So I'm just gonna push that in, and I'm gonna guide it, guide the plastic, uh, guide the metal plate onto the slot as well at the same time so it stays flat. Okay. So once we've done that got the connection 
electrical connection. So yeah, we need to get the spring back on here. There's a little hook. Just hook that back on. Right, the spring's back on, so now I can add that. There we go. So, what you're aiming for is you see there, I've got the spring stretched, and the slot over here and over here, they slot in. And then it can slide across. So now it's retained and it'll, it can move side to side. Um, so now we just gotta reverse everything now. We just make sure these metal rings are slotted back where they should be. Um, and there's a little slot for the, for the uh, long metal, metal piece here. So we'll get the three main screws screw it in Those are back in. And then we can uh, get the, the connector piece screws, which if you remember the, the finer thread, finer threaded ones. So we can get those two in there. They're in there. have to push against the connector as well just to make sure it um, gets a positive connection to the thread. So we can put the retainer clip and then just push that in. You might have to push the lever out of the way. As you do that, so that's in. Then we just got the three screws. These are a coarse of thread because they're uh, self-tapping ones. We're done. Just make sure the screws are nicely tightened. Not too tight, but just make sure they're done up right. Okay, that's good. So you can 
finally take this cap off and fix this to it now. Awesome. So now it actually fits on without falling off, <laughs> which is great. And it's locked on as well. There's no way I can get that off unless I press the button, obviously. So, yeah, that's awesome. Hope this uh, helps you guys. And, uh, yeah, hope you have a great day.